MiHoYo constantly seems to be under attack on social media for not bending the knee to outraged individuals' demands, and now Genshin Impact and HoYoVerse boycotters are celebrating the CEO's rental car being broken into during his visit to California. Now, nobody specific has come forward and said, oh, I did it because I wanted to prove a point, but it seems that all of the individuals online who are furious at MiHoYo are praising this happening and saying, I hope that they learn from this experience and that they take this as a direct message to actually listen to their fans. And I obviously think that companies, yeah, should be listening to their fans, but they shouldn't be listening to deranged lunatics like this. And it sucks to see this happening for him. It says, according to a post on social media, his rental car window was smashed and a laptop from an individual traveling with him was stolen while he was visiting California. So yeah, we don't know any other details, but the timing is very suspicious because a boycott was recently launched against Genshin Impact in the Hoyoverse after the company revealed its upcoming characters from the Notland region. A change.org petition, which now has over 100,000 signatures, was created in July, and it states, We call on me, Hoyo, to stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing in their games and to commit to respectful and accurate representation of all cultures, which is pretty freaking hilarious that these people are saying, oh, they need to be more respectful while they're praising absolutely disrespectful things happening to another human being. Now, MiHoYo and Genshin Impact have faced a lot of criticisms over the years for some of the decisions that they've made, whether it's with monetization or representation within their games, but they have never said that they were trying to accurately portray certain groups of people in certain cultures. Yes, some of the groups that they add into the game may be inspired by certain groups in real life, but they are never supposed to be accurate representations, just loosely inspired, and that makes these people furious because MiHoYo isn't trying to accurately represent groups of people they feel should be accurately represented in this video game, and that MiHoYo will not bend the knee to their demands. But why would they ever listen to people who go out of their way to try to get CEOs fired, who praise uh, potential harm coming to the CEO and developers. Like, this is just not okay. And now, of course, the boycott X accounts are saying that this is absolutely amazing. As you can see, there's quite a few people who are laughing at this, saying, can the robber make the characters get melanin? Crying, don't tell me somebody actually blackmailed him into giving the Notland characters more melanin. I don't condone it, but, like, owned. As long as it's not something that harms him and those around him directly, I approve it. We should make them know we are serious about dark skin and the boycott. All you're doing is making him fear for his life him fear for the safety of those around him, and it makes you look like a lunatic. Companies are not going to listen to lunatics that threaten their CEOs. If you feel that strongly, yes, yeah, sign the boycott, um, change.org petition, do not purchase their products, but don't go around threatening people or laughing at the fact that he could have gotten seriously injured because it's not going to turn out well for you, and companies are not going to listen to you if you praise things like this. So yeah, the Hoyoverse boycotters are celebrating the CEO's rental car getting broken into during his visit to California, proving once again that they're absolute lunatics. But that's all that I had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.